Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold the result if you're coming up with this part error that says that it has occurred an error and access is denied if you're running a command line window. So hopefully it should be able to resolve the problem without too much of a hassle here. First thing I would suggest would be just to go open up the command prompt like you were doing before. So just type in CMD into the start menu or alternatively command prompt. Or if you're in a run dialog window, you can just type in whatever you were going to do before. Except this time you want to go and right click on the best match, or should say command prompt, and then select run as administrator. And then select yes for the user account control prompt. And then at this point, enter in your commands again and hopefully, and once you get into this partition utility, it should be able to go ahead without an issue. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu. Type in regedit into the start menu search, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So before you do anything in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup above it. In order to do that, it's very simple. Just go up and left click on the file tab up at the top left. Left click on export. Make sure export range is selected to all. As for file name, usually the date in which you're making the backup is what I would suggest. And then save it to a convenient location on your computer and then just click on the save button to save the change. And if you ever needed to import it back in, you just would do file import. So fairly straightforward process of how to do that. So once you made your backup, you want to go expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left one little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. Same thing for control. And you can also follow along on the top of the registry editor screen here. You can see the path that we're following. And now that you've expanded the control, you want to look for something that says storage device policies. Please note if you do not see it, as in my case, you're going to have to create the folder. So you're going to right click on control, left click on new, and then select key. Like I said, you're going to have to type in storage device policies and I'll have this on the screen of the video as well so again storage device policy as you can see right here all one word once you've done that now on the right side you want to go in a blank area right click in a blank area left click on new and then select D word 32 bit value you want to go type in write protect so exactly as it appears on my screen so again write w r i t e protect p r o t e c t all one word hit enter on your keyboard. Please note, if you already have the storage device policies folder, you should already have a write protect D word value in here already. So once you've done that, you want to go double click on it. Make sure value data is set to zero. So any number in here, just want to delete it, type the number zero in the value data field. Left click on OK. Once you're done with that, you should be able to just close out of here. Restart your computer and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.